Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Zarko Masalgia, Chief Executive Officer of American Manganese, doing business as Recyclical Battery Materials. Welcome back to Company Showcase, Zarko. Thanks, Jim. Uh, Sarko, very, very sad news for people in the mining industry, the recycling industry, and personally uh, for me and all of us here at House Street, the sad news of the passing of Larry Ray, Chief Executive Officer of American Manganese. Yeah, it is um, is really, truly a sad time uh, for our company, and we want to dedicate this podcast to the man that started it all, Larry Ray. Um, you know, the kind of commitment and dedication he had for his work and vision is truly inspirational. Uh, you know, where, where nobody really dared to explore, you would, you'd find Larry finding a way forward and with incredible resilience, even with these podcasts. I mean, nowadays it feels like everyone has a podcast, but uh, Larry's been doing them weekly for years, and it's, I found it impressive enough that uh, the man his age knew what a podcast was. But, you know, throughout Larry's career, he has gone through ups and downs, even literally in the markets, but he uh, never gave up and served in the best interest of the shareholders with unwavering loyalty. And when even when the company's artillery peak project uh, didn't move forward in 2012 and the stock price would trade as low as two cents, Larry would, you know, Larry held on, uh, even though he had to make some personal sacrifices. And what's most amazing is how calm he would be through it all. Uh, it's it's really truly something um, that cannot be explained and really has to be experienced. Um, e- even when the world you know went went under the lockdowns due to the pandemic, Larry walked into the office the next day without hesitation and never missed a single day because he knew the work needed to be done. And he always had many quotes to share, and I would always uh, actually write them down. So I was I was looking through them the other day. And I probably shouldn't repeat some of them on this podcast, but one that he would always say is, worrying is debilitating, and if worrying worked, I would worry. That's, that's a good lesson for everybody. But uh, if it wasn't for Larry's sacrifices and dedication, uh, he wouldn't, you know, he would have never, uh, I guess, you know, we would have never had this uh, exciting opportunity to exist for this company uh, in a revolutionary field of work. And uh, there are, you know, even even when we look now, there are dozens of companies focused on lithium, nickel, or cobalt mining, or whether it's producing advanced battery materials or lowering carbon emissions. Uh, but but Larry's vision, you know, brought to life a company that spans across these areas and and really creates a practical, you know, circular solution. Um, and you know, Larry has been an incredible friend and mentor to me, and it's really an honor to work with him and learn from him. Uh, he he really deserved to see the massive massive success. I believe this will be, and I want to ensure listeners that uh, his vision will be carried out. You know, Larry uh, has built and put his trust in an incredible team, and a few of us would like to say some words. So I'll first pass it on to Teresa, who's the corporate secretary, and then that'll be followed by Shaheem, who's our CFO and director, and lastly Paul Hildebrand, our interim board chairman. Hi, Jim. Hi, Terry. Hi there. Hi, everyone. This is Teresa Pioran, Corporate Secretary of American Manganese. It was back in January of 1986 when I received a call from a temp, temp agency I was with to go for an interview at Ray Gold Corporation. Larry met me with a strong handshake, a big smile, wearing his iconic leather jacket paired with a fanny pack. This was just the start of a 36-year-long working relationship and friendship. He was the godfather to my first daughter. He, we shared many great memories and accomplishments together, including the Gold Ray Samatos and Silver Mine opening and the Adnac Molybdenum project up at, at uh, Ruby Creek. Larry taught me everything I know about the mining industry. He was a wonderful and generous boss, a great mentor and a dear friend, and I will miss him greatly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll miss him, really, really will miss him. I'm sorry, but uh, it's very emotional when you're trying to remember your your friends, and I'm just just verklempt, so I'm just going to pass off to, to Shaheen. Thank you, Terry. 
uh, it has been hard on Terry for the last few days. Terry has been with Larry for over 30 years, uh, probably, probably the longest serving staff here at the office. Um, hello everyone, this is Shahim, uh, Shahim Ali, CFO at American Manganese, or oh, doing business as now, recycling of battery materials. It has been heartbreaking and tough last few days. Um, here as we say goodbye to Larry, our founder, CEO, and mentor. Born and raised in Cash Creek, BC, Larry loved his telling stories and his cowboy boots. I have been with Larry for over 10 years. Larry was a visionary and demonstrated exceptional entrepreneurial mindset. Always puts his work first. Larry has been taking care of his health last few months. His last days were spent in a rehab facility in uh, South Surrey to gain muscle strength after a heart surgery. Paul Hildebrand and I visited Larry uh, this past Monday. And I will never forget Larry's chuckle at old mining stories and how he navigated both the good times and the market storms. You know, Larry always put tremendous energy and he has put so much into Recyclico and we realize we have big shoes to fill. I wanted to thank all the shareholders, friends for your condolences. We are in touch with family on a daily basis with your messages and we have been providing support to the family every day. As I say goodbye to my captain, I wanted to share his famous line with you all. He had this, he had this line tagged to his monitor in the office. It said, life is a sucking cesspool of despair. It took me a long time to understand what he meant. But over the years and today, I get it. This weekend, Zaka and I leave for New York to speak and network at the Row Motion EV and Battery Energy Transition event, which is held next next week in uh, New York to keep working on Larry's vision. And we are destined to fulfill his dreams. Thank you all. Thank you for your support. Now I will ask Paul Hildebrand to say a few words. He's our new chairman of the board. I, um, I met Larry in the mid-1980s, so... We knew each other for almost 40 years. I knew him through, uh, through good times and bad times, and, and times when markets were strong and times when they were weak. Um, the one thing that always struck me about Larry is that even in the most difficult times, uh, he never complained. Uh, he never tried to put the blame on the rest of the world. Uh, Larry's response to adversity was just to put his shoulder to the wheel and push ahead. Um, and that's something I always admired about him. And uh, I hope we can show the same kind of uh, fighting spirit at Recyclico now that he's gone. Uh, thank you very much, Paul. And on behalf of myself, executive producer Tom Allen and executive assistant Kim Russell, we'd like to extend our sincere condolences to all of you and to Larry's family and friends. Larry Ray will be greatly missed by all of us. And now we'd like to end uh, the podcast with uh, something Larry and I did every interview over the last five to seven years every week. One last time. For people who want to know where you're traded and get more information about the company, where should they go? Well, we're traded on the uh, on the uh, Toronto Venture Exchange under the symbol AMY. We're traded in the U.S. QB board under the symbol AMYZF, and we're traded in Frankfurt under the symbol 2AM. And you can get any information you want by going to our website because we try for transparency. And uh, you go to our website at AmericanManganeseInc.com. Larry, thank you so much for the update. You're welcome, Jim. This interview took place... On September 23rd, I'm Jim Goddard. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated. 